What's up, everybody? Told you guy here. We got to talk about a bunch of stuff going on in the WWE, more specifically Roman Reigns and his plans for WWE WrestleMania 31. Now, there have been talks about Brock Lesnar going up against John Cena at SummerSlam and taking the WWE World Heavyweight Championship from him. And the reason they want to do this is because we're thinking that they're going to do Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 31. And this would be a good way to start a build for a feud like that. Now, this would be Reigns' big WrestleMania moment and coronation with him as a brand new top babyface in the company. This would be basically the shining achievement for Roman Reigns as they think, you know what, he's going to be the next big baby face so that's the the plan right now although right now there is no confirmation that lesnar is going to beat john cena at SummerSlam. but word is that they're going to be pushing for big pay-per-views according to uh this they want to pick SummerSlam and they want nine of champions which is in september to be big so they can help with the wwe network because if you're not familiar with the WWE Network, I think their six-month commitment is up right around SummerSlam. So they want to push it right for SummerSlam, which is a good idea. You get people to want to renew their contract because Brock Lesnar wins a title. You want to see what's going to happen. So that is what they're thinking. Uh, we do want to note that Brock Lesnar is scheduled to be working at Night of Champions. So we could possibly be seeing Brock Lesnar take the WWE World Heavyweight Championship away from John Cena. And I think this would be good. I think what we can do is sort of have Brock Lesnar be the guy. I've always thought that Brock Lesnar would be a great guy to push based off of what happened at WrestleMania. We all know he defeated The Undertaker's undefeated streak at WrestleMania. We've heard it from Paul Heyman time and time and time and time again. Yes, we have. And now we know that Brock Lesnar coming back. Face John Cena at SummerSlam, winning the title. Now, I kind of like John Cena having the WWE World Heavyweight Championship because he's on the cover of WWE 2K15. And I was thinking they would have him keep it until the game comes out, but that's in October. But if they want to boost the subscriptions, maybe have John Cena as champion, but maybe you do the switch and you have Brock Lesnar win the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. And that'll get some fans talking. And that's a good way for people to uh, talk about the network, talk about WWE, and say, you know what? I kind of want to see where they're going to go with this. So let's tune in and watch it. I think the the main thing is that they really want to grab the subscriptions. They want people to go, you know what? I thought it was great. I thought it's something that I want to renew. So let's do that. Let's renew our contract and let's keep going on with the WWE network. Honestly, I think it's a steal of a deal to pay $10 and get all the pay-per-views the entire year. It's great. You can't beat that, for real. It's it's one of the greatest concepts ever. $10 for a preview? You got me. So now that we know the main reason on why they would pull the trigger on Brock Lesnar, you know, the WWE Network, get subscriptions up, keep people happy, keep them wanting to renew, and we'll see if they do the six-month commitment again, which will be interesting to find out as well. But since we know why they would do that, you have to think about the match Brock Lesnar-Roman Reigns. Now, I have no doubt in my mind that Roman Reigns will be a top-tier superstar within the coming year. I feel like he's ready. WrestleMania might be the trigger point for him where they pull the trigger and say, this is our guy, let's see what happens. Hopefully, he can make it like The Rock made it because everybody makes a comparison. They always compare, you know, he's part of the Samoan family. He's got the theme sort of like when The Rock left the nation, he took the theme with him. That's how Roman Reigns is doing. So it's kind of that comparison right there. But I think that uh, this is going to be a, a test right there. And you know what? If you're talking about WrestleMania moments, big matches, Roman Reigns, Brock Lesnar is not a match that I would book. I'm not saying it's going to be a bad match. It's just not one of those matches that I would say, yes, this is one of those must-see matches. But not saying it's going to be a bad match. It's just one of those things where it never really came to my mind that these two going at it would be great. Now, I do think they need to... Do something with Brock Lesnar. They should have used the momentum of his WrestleMania win and kept going with it. But there again, they don't want to use all of his dates up. He has a limited contract. He's Brock Lesnar. He can do what he wants. So that's fine. But I think they need to capitalize on Brock Lesnar. I feel like Brock Lesnar needs to be champion by the end of the year. Some way, somehow, he needs to do it. 
uh, feel that he needs to be champion. And then that just makes me wonder about Daniel Bryan as well. It's like, Daniel Bryan going to come back anytime soon? What are they going to do with that? Are they going to have Brock Lesnar go up against Daniel Bryan whenever he returns? I don't know what's going to happen, but it's very, very uh, uncertain for Daniel Bryan. And that's what's kind of scary with the whole Daniel Bryan situation. Is He was the top guy. He had his WrestleMania moment. Now he's gone. Okay. Well, he got injured. I get that. But really, where is he at? And that's one of the things I don't want to see happened to uh, Roman Reigns. It's like he has his momentum, he wins the title, and then he just gets forgotten. I don't think Daniel Bryan's been forgotten, but you know what I'm saying. It's just one of those things where he he gets his moment and then it's taken away. And I don't want to see that happen with Roman Reigns. I feel like they are in the right spot with him. I think he needs to get new gear and have some sort of attire. I don't know what they... See, I like Roman Reigns. I think he's great. I think he's awesome. I think he, he... He's in the right position to be a top-tier talent. But I think there's a few things they need to do with him. And I think that them main eventing him and Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania is going to be a solid choice for that. You know, they have the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. And I don't know if it may be too soon for him to pursue that title or not. But nowadays, it's like anything can really happen. It just... One of those things where things can change at any moment and this guy can win the title and then he can lose it again. I mean, we've seen it with Dolph Ziggler. We've seen it with Jack Swagger. We've seen it with Del Rio. Guys just just get the title. Sheamus as well. He's just another guy who who gets the title, take it away, and then he's just back in the mid cards again. And that's what we've seen time and time again. And I think that we're going to see these talent, these crop of new guys. Like Cesaro, another one. I feel like he's right in the in the path to main eventing, to winning that title, to having it sometime. And WWE does a really good job at this. And I'm going to give them credit where credit is due because they do a really, really good job at building new stars. WWE may not always be the best product. It may not have the best stuff. But they constantly have a revolving door of new talent coming in and out. So you're never going to see the same guys over and over again. Sure, there's guys that stick around like John Cena and Triple H, but... You have the guys that are constantly coming in. You have all the shield. You got Dean Ambrose, Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, who finally are on their own, doing their own stuff. And those guys are awesome. We have the Wyatts, who Bray Wyatt's still one of those guys that could be in the main events as well. Cesaro, like I said, is right up there for the main events. I mean, you have talent coming in and out and constantly, constantly getting better and getting fresh faces. And that's what they're going to do. They're going to keep pushing that talent and they're going to see what happens and what sticks. And I think... Right now, Roman Reigns is is one of those guys that's going to stick. He's got the look. He's got the lineage of the Samoan family, the heritage right there. He's related to The Rock. I mean, you can't get any better than that as far as WWE superstars go. So, Roman Reigns, Brock Lesnar, where do we go? How do we create this? What is the feud? What is the angle? Well, you do what we said you do. Brock Lesnar is the guy who defeated The Undertaker's undefeated streak at WrestleMania have him go up against John Cena. I don't know that this is a match that I really want to see, but this is what we're going to have because John Cena, you know what? I ain't even mad that John Cena's champion. John Cena is just John Cena. He just does what uh, John Cena does, and he gives the company money, and he's a good guy, and he puts it all out there, and he's marketable, and that's fine. You know, he's not the greatest wrestler. He's not the worst wrestler. He's got the charisma. He can put butts in the seats, and that's all that really matters. So, you, you, you get the title off John Cena, I guess, for Brock Lesnar. You build up Roman Reigns to be a monster. That's really what you want to do. You want to have him be a monster. You want to make him a, a good-looking baby face because girls like him and the guys want to be him. That's what the story's got to be with him. So you build that up. And you also build Brock Lesnar as a monster heel, just destroying people in his path. I feel like Brock Lesnar does need to destroy Daniel Bryan, though. I feel like Daniel Bryan needs to have a match with Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar needs to destroy him somehow, some way, some form. Maybe. Maybe Daniel Bryan can come back before then, go up against Brock Lesnar. My idea always was that you have Daniel Bryan come back and say, you know what, I want a title match and Brock Lesnar comes back and says, "Uh uh-uh, you know what? You were gone, you were injured, you were hurt. I'm next in line for a title shot. And then you have them fight, and Brock Lesnar would get the better of him. And then Brock Lesnar versus John Cena. Then you have that go down. And then from there, we build up Brock Lesnar as a monster, just being undefeated until WrestleMania. I think that's the best way to go. 
And then you have Roman Reigns come in and defeat Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania. I think that's the best way to do it. I feel like it makes everything seem legit. Uh, Roman Reigns gets built up for months and months and months as a, as a huge, massive star. And then you just have him destroy Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania, the culmination of all of our dreams. Anyway, guys, I want to know your thoughts on all of this. Do you want Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania? Do you want Brock Lesnar as WWE World Heavyweight Champion? Let me know all that in the comment section below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Tony Pizza Guy, Frag out.